I got my guy Chris right here. Been cutting him for a few years. Um, one of the people that makes me really enjoy cutting hair because of the deep conversations we have. That guess what? Y'all ain't gonna hear because we're gonna turn the music up on your ass. But no, we're gonna um, what we're gonna do today? We're gonna dive into how to taper a fresh taper. I love when the good news coming in on a day to day. Already know what's any specific instructions on this high taper, medium taper, mid taper. Nah. Are we trying to get this uh, top and size a little darker or do you want to maintain it at the length it is? At this length? Let's do it, homie. All right, y'all know how we start this off. Uh, <laughs> with a comb, I'm going to actually uh, direct all this hair first. And when I say direct, we're going to comb this damn hair. Um, your cut is going to come out a lot nicer if you direct this. And you'll see me do this a few times during the cut. And I'm gonna start off by balding. You said midway, right? We're gonna ball that. We're gonna leave with his, his cups right there. We're gonna bring them a bit about midway right here. And the only thing I'm gonna do on this top is go with the grain with like a one and a half. Length. All right. I'm gonna mess with these cocos. Well, I've been doing these for a few weeks. Shout out to cocos. And I'm gonna just knock this back out real quick. some of that up. I'm gonna take my blonde shavers over so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. The one thing I wanna make sure I do is not lose that line. So I'm gonna actually come down much lower so I got space to fade. And then I don't like to go back behind the ear. So I'll stop right about there. And then we're gonna blend this beard out. I'm gonna bald all of this. And I like my beard to look a little dramatic so I bought it kind of low down here and again it fast forward but you'll see it all but what I do on one side I'm just gonna repeat it on the on the other so a taper is nothing but a fade it's just a it's just a fade in a particular area the temple the neck that's it but it's still all a fade so if you've seen my simple steps to a clean fade video or any of my other tapering videos or fade video it's all the same thing you got the bronze nine Bam. And you want to kind of do this stuff quick so you can spend more time on the, the actual detail of the cut. So boom, he's super blended right there. In the back, I try to be real light because a lot of my guys are sensitive there. So he's a little bumpy there. So I'll just hit some of these areas real soft. But don't worry about being perfect back there. Nobody will be able to tell. I'd rather his skin be in good condition than the cut looking flawless for a video. I'm in there for the long run with my clients. I'm always coaching them on how to keep their skin up to par. So I'm gonna open my ergos, and I'm literally just gonna make a, about a three quarter inch, one length bar right here. Boom. I'm gonna leave this, sorry, leave this little front area. And then I'm gonna close them up all the way. Bar that little bit out right there at the bottom and you could already see them blending. Shout out to Chuka the Barber. That is, uh, that's where I actually picked this technique up from a while ago. I had my way of fading, it was pretty slow. Thorough, but slow. So I was looking for little tips on how to speed it up and uh, out of all the barbers, I gravitated towards his way a lot more. I put my own twist on it, but it, it definitely was inspired by Chuka. All right, man. We're gonna do the same thing back here. And if you notice, I'm moving through this stuff quick. Cause what I'm gonna do is just explain to you my first steps. And then you literally can see me do the same thing on every part of the head. So I'm balding out that bottom. That back fell out a lot easier. All right. Open them up. And don't forget to leave this little part in the front so we can get a good line up right there. Sometimes I get a little too aggressive there and then I have less of the line up. Still looks good, but I want to get what I'm going for. All right, man. Yeah, and then uh, once I get moving, I'm literally going to turn this music on y'all and talk to my guy because this is one of my young hustlers right here. Gotta see where he at in the in the hustle game right now. We always do our updates. You know, this is 
But y'all gotta understand about barber, man, it's, the haircut is important, but uh, the people are important, you know? The relationships you build. And, you know, I get to teach people like this so many things and, and you get to celebrate him making the moves and getting the results without telling his business. And then vice versa, he goes and does something smart with it and then I get to learn from his experience. So, man, that's, that's, that's where my real value in barbering lies right there. I mean, of course I gotta get money and pay my bills, but that's where it lies for me. So if you notice on the beard, I'm doing the same thing. Open them up, make everything a one right here. Boom. Then I'm gonna close them. I'm literally just doing this reverse. And then I'm gonna knock out that bottom line right there. Uh, uh, uh. So I'm gonna go with the grain just to make sure that this guard is the length I wanna mess with. I got it all the way open. Going with it. <clears throat> and the fact that we're not getting any big chunks of hair falling off, um, I'm not hearing no dips, it means I picked the right length. So now I could just go against this uh, one and a half, I guess that's what it is, or one and three quarters with this open and start blending. <clears throat> Excuse me, now I know I had my guards closed at the bottom um, uh, to knock out that line, but with this longer hair right here, I start with it open. It's just my own style. Uh, that's the one thing I did different from Chuka because he repeats it. He goes with them closed and he starts to open up me. I do that with the bottom line, but then once I get into the longer hair like this, I personally like the effect of the fade when I start with it open. <clears throat> and then I'll, I'll do longer stroke fading so it could kind of have a um, almost a less dramatic look. And now I can see that I probably will end up using that one and a half for this little area up here. See what I'm working with. Then I'll pinpoint little areas that I see in the mirror that I couldn't see in person. <clears throat> Excuse me, some of y'all barbers try to hide the client from the mirror because you don't you, you feel uncomfortable that the haircut don't look good right now, but don't worry about that. As long as it look good at the end, it's all that matters. I'm not ashamed to let my clients see the mirror or see my station. That's another thing. Some of y'all don't want them to see your station because you ain't clean your damn station. I keep my station clean so I don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. All right, so now I closed it up and now I'm hitting that bottom line. What Chuka was doing, he would hit that line first and then he would start blending up. There's no wrong way. That's just his way. Um, I took his idea and I put my own twist on it in a way that was more comfortable for me. And you can do the same thing with my video. You can put your own twist on it, take the parts that work for you, and flip the ones that don't. But boom, look, you're starting to see that blend now. So I'm gonna go halfway now, lay some of this bulk down. It's already looking good. That's gonna be a cold lineup right there. It almost looked like we sprayed it, and this is no enhancements. And I don't mind enhancements, but we don't, we don't need them. I use them when people need them, but he's about to have a naturally clean ass fade. Take it. All right. So I'm closing it a little more now. Now I'm gonna get a little aggressive with it, but I'm not gonna press hard because I don't want to lose that graduation that's happening. So I'm just gonna touch these very lightly. And he has very nice, fine, and curly hair, so. Uh, you don't want to be too aggressive anyway because it's, it's like this area does its own thing, then this area does its own thing. So you want to respect it. It's like a motorcycle, man. Respect the ride and pay attention to all the bumps and all the grooves. All right. So I open it up. Now I'm just nicking away at it. Call this detail work. And you can see that blend really coming in now. <coughs> so I'm going to grab my half guard, my 116, 
I'm gonna uh, tap this bottom. I could literally leave that fade just like that. Like, that's how clean he is. Let me make sure y'all focus in good. Yeah, I could literally leave that like that. But we're not, we're gonna, we're gonna go hard. We're gonna put that 16th on there, open it up. You don't have to do a lot of work all the time. Just touch it. Yeah, man. All right. So I think my last thing I'm gonna do is take the guard off, open it up all the way. And then we're gonna get those super low bristles. Those are the ones you don't see, but they affect what you see. So you may not see them specifically, but these affect how you see what you see. So me just doing that alone, and then I'm gonna close it, and we're gonna kill that bottom line now. Boom. All right, man. I'm so grateful for all my clients that allow me to do this. Um, I think this is going to be a really helpful one for a lot of y'all. All right. So I'm just laying that down now. This is ready to line up, man. So uh, we're going to save some time. We're going to speed it up. And I'm going to turn them around. And we're going to do the same thing in the back. And I'll keep the camera going. And uh, we'll be doing the same thing on the opposite side. And then I'll slow it down again once we uh, get to the lineup. Hey, I got the recipe. Never gonna let any up be the best of me. Thought it was distance, but haters is next to me. Talk to the spirit, you know I've been heavenly. Company definitely show your trajectory. This ain't a diss because I say it respectfully. It's time to eat up. Red like a speeder. Taking it deeper and that's how it better be. I never let the comparison get to me. I just remember the promises meant for me. I know the enemy and that he's for me. I keep the blood of the lemons, my centerpiece. I cannot trust in no crystals or energy. Look at the chemistry. It do not even mix chemically. Most of the tricks, they be gimmicks. They mimic the truth. It's poison and we got the remedy. Uh. Now we got my guy shampooed up. And we are going to, um, what I like to do on my clients' hair is put a little bit of uh, oil for their skin. And I found the oil that I personally like. There's so many of them out there. You get the one that works for yours. My main point is giving the client something that's uh, nutritious for their skin, not just the hair. So what I do, I got this on Amazon and it is... Um, uh, cold press sweet almond oil. I rub it in pretty smooth and it helps with dryness and it's not super gunky and greasy. And then I'll put whatever hairdressing I'm gonna put on it. And I'll tell you which one that is in a minute too. Cause it's one damn hairdressing that I use for 98.99% of my damn haircuts. I love this stuff and I'm gonna show you right now. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm not sponsored by them. I should be, but I'm not sponsored by them or nothing. But this is Suavecito, uh, that premium blends pomade. It doesn't look nothing like a damn pomade. It's white, it's kind of creamy, but it is gonky. So, what I do, you see his hair is damp. Uh, usually I'll dry it a little bit, but for some reason it kind of dried a little bit tonight. If it's too wet, I'll dry it. So, anyway, this is what I do. You do it how you want to do it, but telling you from experience. I spread the stuff out and then kind of mess the hair up a little bit because I want it to get in there. And I don't press it in real hard. I put it in different areas and, it's, and I get it all off of my glove, even those sides. And then I start working it the way that his hair actually lays. Now, if you do this too heavy, this stuff will slick the hell down and you will be looking like Jermaine Jackson or somebody from the damn Wax Museum in here, boy. So you gotta, you, you gotta be patient with it. Or you'll say it don't work or you won't like it or whatever, but I promise you, if you do it right, it is the most beautiful finish, man. And you gotta be okay with massaging your client's head in, getting that stuff in there good and thoroughly. So now it's in there pretty good. We got the oil on the skin. So what I do is take the comb right in those middle teeth, and now I'm gonna start directing this hair again. And you can see the swirl right here. 
that swirl goes like a like a whirlwind. So basically, you just follow that, and you make that swirl the start of all directions that that hair go. And then if your client can understand that, and then they can keep their hair trained that way, it makes for a better haircut when they come back. Because now, y'all working like a team. Inside, some people do, some people don't. It's all right. But when the ones that do, oh man, they make life. The haircut come out so much more cleaner and everything. So now, that's that. Now, flatten it down with my hand a little bit in the, the right direction. And then little things will come out, like this little jagged area. I want to clean that up now. So, I'll get my ergos. Put my one guard on, open it up, and then we'll just nick that little area, just barely. Just barely. So I'm using my camera just like I'm using my mirror. It, it, I can see things in there. It's another set of eyes. It's another set of eyes. And my eyes don't catch everything. I'm good, but I ain't perfect, so. My eyes don't catch everything, so give my client that result we want, I'm going to use my other sets of eyes, my mirror and my camera. So that side looks good. And then we got just a little over here to skim. This hair acts different once you wet it and it gets chemical, you know, not chemical, but uh, product and all that stuff in there. So, you know, it looked good before the cut, before the wash, but you got to know that after you wash it, you're gonna have to do a little bit of touching up most of the time. Most of the time. So now I'm just getting some of those frizzies as they wanna stand up. Make sure you stay in the direction of the hair because you will get a damn plug if you decide to get creative, homie. This ain't the time to get creative. It's spontaneous. All right, what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna zap it with just a little holding spray. I'm gonna ask my client to close his eyes and then don't overdo it. And I, and I, I start close, but I move very far away so it just sprinkles on there. Same thing. And then cover their eyes because this is strong stuff. See how I didn't stay in one area. All right. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna freeze the position for me. And then what I'll do is I'll take my blow dryer, make it warm. And I'll do one little once over. Oh, it's not warm, it's cool. There we go, now it's warm. And then, after that once over, I'm gonna dry it now. You could do this with a do-rag. Um, I'm actually gonna add that to my services at some point where a do-rag comes with a wave service. Um, and I'll just get like bulk do-rags and you know that person will leave with it because uh, again, I'm real big on sanitation. So I always had that idea, but I just couldn't figure out how the hell do you clean that many do-rags and make it feasible. But a do-rag is another good one. And basically you just hold it and, and heat dry it. But uh, my hand does pretty decent. Been doing it for some years that way and haven't had too many complaints. And then you can always uh, do a light scissor over it in case any hairs are still standing up. Make sure to not hold the blow dryer in one place too long. Welcome back, Dre. And put a lot of emphasis on that front area because you're getting ready to line it. All right. I'm gonna pull my cocos back out. And now what you wanna do is clean everything out because he's clean now. You don't want all this extra loose hair in your combs and loose hair in your clippers, all that stuff. All right, so you start where you want. Some people start in the front. Me, I like to get the, that side done. And I like to start with the ear lineup. So I like the ear lineup because it's old school and it's one of those things where if you get the ear lineup right, it just set the hair cut off. It just looked like so detailed. I've seen some dope lineups on the front, the sides, and then I've seen the ear lineup look real just messy, and it made the whole haircut look messy. 
most of the time, I know some of y'all have experienced this, sometimes your clipper, you're like, man, it's not, I feel like it's not cutting. You know, just remember a clipper's like a car, man, it's a machine. Most of the time it's the way you're holding it or the way you're pressing or not pressing. So you gotta kind of pay attention to the clipper's move. And then also some clippers just cut different hair. Like it cuts different types of hair differently. So like I've been using these cocos and I'm probably gonna use them on this front and everything. But if, um, if I need to go a little more aggressive, I may go back to my original favorites, which I haven't used in weeks. But I wanna get that line in there. So my original favorites, bam, here we go. The Babylon Effects trimmers, they usually just savage the job. One time for the hometown, I got love for it, that's real. Yeah. Two times for the haters, man, cause I know this how this shit feel. Three times for my family, dog, cause this shit done paid our bills. Whoa. And I get four times my net worth from a year ago with no deals. Did it all by myself, I don't need nothing. Draw the hundred songs, I'ma keep coming. Remember times they wouldn't reply, now they all hit me like they need something. Labels hit me, now they see something, but I told them all, you ain't seen nothing. I've been putting all the work in, if you ain't song with me, you ain't read nothing. How it is, I don't made the calls. Gas it up, shit about a blow, make a million I got a million flows, I'm a million shit with a million goals Time ticking, now I hear it, dawg I don't say it, but I seen it all Seen the post and I seen the hate So when it hit me now, I ignore the cause No time for it, just being honest Way back, I said I got it Same guy, same shit, nothing changed Set the pockets, money came, I got a profits Bet it all, put it on us In the past, I said I'm next, but I'm here now I was being modest One time for the hometown, I got love for it, that's real yeah, two times for the haters mix. I think we're gonna call this quits. I like it. I have a perfectionist issue. I could always find some hair. Right, something to pick out. So we're gonna let my man we're gonna let my man go free. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna release him. <laughs> right. I, I got a I got a meeting I gotta be right, at. Right, a very important meeting. <laughs> So, I appreciate you being down to participate and yeah, allow me to get this dope haircut documented. Ooh, what it look like you can have a good night. That's a good night haircut. This is a good night haircut. <laughs> so you know how we do it, man. We'll give you this mirror, let you inspect it, and uh, you just let me know if you got any changes to make. Nah, you set, man. Shit is squared away nice. Even spun me around to the, the other mirror so I can check out the back, you know? All good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm set, man. I'm ready to get up out of here and start my night. <laughs> if y'all didn't know, we use Booksy for our checkout. It makes it easy for our clients. I literally go to my account and I will uh, I'm done, so I hit checkout. It'll run to his card. My screen turns uh, orange. He'll go ahead and accept it. Once he accepts it, you'll see that the screen will turn green. That allows them total control. Being verified, there we go. And then I don't have to, there we go, it's green. I could hit back. I see my man pay fully and we're all good. <laughs>